Hello everybody, Ministorm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron for the German Empire. We are at now. The Kaiser has returned. And we are kind of back to being a full-on monarchy. And also last episode, Austria-Hungary reformed and absorbed Czechoslovakia. So they are reassembling themselves. So that's interesting. We may form a faction with them at some point. We'll have to see. Uh, we're getting our army expanded, getting more divisions trained, working on... I think we're going to be working on trying to get our panzers switched over. We're going to go switch the medium tanks. We're starting to build Panzer 3s and Stugs. We're going to want to start getting some mechanized infantry as well. So we'll see how that all goes. Uh, let's just do a quick check. Um, we kind of know what they're doing. France... We don't really know what France is doing. Because they're working on a military focus. So I don't know if they're maybe going... Communist... Or what? The UK has been going fascist. They have a significant uh, fascist support there. So we may be seeing a um, a revolution or a civil war in the UK sooner or later. Uh, US, not really sure what they're doing. Well, they've gone and continued the New Deal, we can tell that, and we've gone for limited intervention. So they're definitely not going to be going the fascist route. They could potentially go the communist route, but they have, like, no communist support yet, so we will see. You yeah. know? All these focuses are kind of random. Well, the focuses aren't randomized. Well, is the the behavior of the AI has been randomized. So the AI is going to kind of randomly choose what it wants to try to do, and then it's going to move in that direction. So, um, so yeah, we've had the restoration of Austria-Hungary. We we're having the fascist revolution in the UK. We'll see how things go. So let's go ahead and unpause it. Let's get it moving. And what I'm specifically looking for is the gorillas here. Get them done researching, and then once they're done researching, we have them under you know, under production. Then we can start kind of rearranging our panzer divisions here. Though, though I would like some mechanized infantry for the Panzer Divisions. Alright, Swaraj Movement gains... Okay, hold on. Swaraj Movement gains in provincial election... Or makes gains in provincial elections. British civil servants woke to a rude shock this morning as the results of the recent provincial elections came in. It's clear now that a large majority of Indians have given their votes to pro-Swaraj ca uh, candidates. In provinces across India, calls have already started to turn this limited amount of local government to total self-rule as quickly as possible. A spokesman for the British government stressed what now that now was not the time to discuss such measures, that any transfer of further authority to Indians was out of the question. Okay. The Dominion of Canada seeks immediate patriation. All right. After breakdowns and negotiation with Westminster... In an unprecedented 63-hour debate, the Canadian Parliament has overturned the British North America Act. Instead, enshrining the Canadian Constitution and laws untouchable by the British Parliament or monarchy. Although not an anti-British move in its own right, it signals a move away from the Commonwealth policies of the old empire. 
While a natural step to take for any country wanting to ensure their future, future stability, it does nothing to alleviate the already tense state of global politics. All right. So it looks like both India and Canada are looking to break away from Britain. All right. So we got the Kaiserwerk, Wilhelm Wagen, more civilian factories. Do that. I need some more military factories. Let's get those rolling. Alright. There's that. So let's get... Is it 1940 yet? No, it's not. It is 1938, so we can do some improved infantry equipment. So let's go ahead and do that, um, and then let's go ahead and edit our Panzer Division. We want to switch over to medium tanks. I want to remove that. Let's see. Recon, engineers, logistics, support anti-air, I think is what we're going to go with. And then we're going to want... Medium tank destroyers and medium self-propelled artillery and more medium tanks. Comet with 19. That's not ideal. But we'll leave it here for now. We'll see if some changes we can make later. We'll get this up to 20. So that's kind of what the combat width I want. Save that. Alright, we need the new SPGs. And let's transfer from motorized and light tanks to there. We're going to need some more tungsten. Let's grab it from Portugal. And... Oh. Well, there we go. And let's see. A chief of the Navy. Yep. Capital ship attack. Screen attack. That's what we're going to be going for. do need to start working on a battleship. Let's see, because what kind of... We have the Deutschland class. The Scharnhorst class. Italy seeks extensive military pact. Aiming to redefine the power balance in the Mediterranean, Italy has been making political overtures towards the creation of a new alliance in the region. Largely military in nation, uh, nature, the Novus Imperium Romanum will, in the words of Benito Mussolini, place Italy at the center of a new world power. We're not interested in making any deals with the fascists. And we just fought a war to kick the fascists out. So... Alright. Now, let's go ahead and let's start training some Panzer Divisions. We're gonna need 21. So that's gonna be... 3 sets of 7. It's going to take us a while to get those medium tanks. How are we doing for manpower? Okay. 
Okay, Mexico took two states. The Mexican junta was annexed. I kind of saw that coming. Uh, the Republican Spain is still holding out, but I don't think they're going to be holding out for very much longer. Secret rearmament is what they're going for. That's interesting. The state of Japan took six states. Japan was annexed. So Japan has gone democratic. That's interesting. So that means that Korea is now independent. And the Imperial Kwantung Territories are a subject state... No, this is a subject state of that. Alright, you are a subject state. Let's continue to research our air doctrines. So what do we got here? We've got the Scharnhorst. Let's move that into that fleet. And then we have two destroyers. Which, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and merge that completely in. decisions front quit India movement Indian calls for independence have intensified lately now things have come to a head as the radical quit India movement has called for the United Kingdom to leave the country as soon as possible British authorities were quick to react however and have cracked down on the movement arresting several leaders in dawn raids on homes across India Reports prepared by Special Branch indicate that many sympathizers are still at large, however, and many in the civil service have expressed fears that more extremist elements of the movement may even resort to violence. Okay. There we go. we got some more civilian factories, and let's go ahead and grab our research slot. So you f you're fully equipped, so that's going to be done training soon. This is mostly equipped, so training's probably going to finish there. We're so short support equipment. The Imperial Kwantung Territories declared war on Communist China. Very interesting. You are not a puppet state. I, I don't see how they would even get to Communist China. So that's, uh... It's gonna be kind of a phony war for a while. We 
definitely need more fuel. We did finish one of our synthetic refineries. We may need to get more of those. Let's see, is there anything that we can do here as far as Poland goes? See to the Eastern Front. Again, claim on Memel. Safeguard the Baltic. Danzig for guarantees. Attack of the communist threat, the Iberian problem. Uh, rebuild the nation, a new and better Germany. Bulwark against Bolshevism. Italy lays claim to Greek territory. Citing the Roman Empire as a forerunner to the modern Italian state, Italy has claimed that an independent Greek state has no right to exist. Instead, the Greek territories must acknowledge Italian supremacy in the Aegean or have it seized by force. Greece has denounced the claims as ludicrous. However, Italy has the backing of the Novus Imperium Romanum. Outrageous claims. Yeah, but we, we need to take care of our our industry and our military, I think, first. Align Romania. A piece of the Kingdom of Romania. We can actually do that. Deck conversions are done. Um, so we could potentially get some carriers. But what we're going to do is we're going to get... Super heavy battleships? No. Nineteen forty heavy ship hull. Three hundred and thirty two days. You know what? We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead we're gonna go ahead on that. We're gonna go ahead and go ahead. Yeah. Um and research that, try to get that sooner than normal. Air experience gain. I guess we'll go ahead and do that. We are going to need medium tanks. The Imperial Kwantung Territories have declared war on China. Okay. Interesting. I'm not sure that was a good idea. We need world tension at 20% to send some volunteers. Which I may very well do just for the experience. Improved inventory equipment is done. Get the more improved equipment.
And we have one tank. One tank in that tiger in that tiger. Panzer division. We don't have tigers yet. The 4th International. A number of communist delegates from around the world met in Paris today for a founding conference, laying the groundwork for what has been known as the 4th International. Calls for its formation have existed for years, with supporters of Trotsky's theories taking the lead. Stalin has responded to the growing support for Trotskyism abroad by ordering additional assassinations and increasing propaganda against his old rival. While the past purges of suspe suspected Trotskyists in the high ranks of the Soviet military and leadership, in recent memory, this is unlikely to be met with any resistance. We have no template for our light tanks. No, we don't, because we're going to be adding our light tanks here. Specifically, we're going to be throwing in some light tanks, some light cell-propelled artillery, and some light tank destroyers. Extra research slot. We're going to be removing some actual infantry from that. Support anti-air. Logistics company. Save. We don't have any of those in the field just yet. We might want to start training some. We're going to train them slowly. We don't have any light cell propelled artillery or tank destroyers just yet oh no that's ships we want armor We're going to need some more tungsten. Alright, let's see what we got. Three hundred fifty-two days for that... Uh, for Blitzkrieg. Um, do it. Let's see. That's a Craig. Let's get some naval doctrine. And let's get. Is it 39 yet? No. Uh, concentrated. This, no. Uh, let's do. Oil processing. Yes. And let's do. Reich's Autobahn? Yes. World tension is not at 20% and is actually going down. We need something big to crank that world tension up. Like the fall of Republican Spain.
We are now somehow short infantry equipment. But we'll only be short infantry equipment for 120 days. Well, we're short because I put a bunch more divisions in training. That would be why. It increases the production costs of everything. Does it increase the reliability of our fighters? Or aircraft in general? I don't know. for that all right free military factories uh let's get that more to medium tanks more medium tanks trade looks like we don't need the chromium We're exporting steel. Good. So then that should be getting me some factories, some trade, a few. Description. Yep, just kind of waiting for things to get done. We'll be finishing Reich's Autobahn here momentarily. Twelve days. Send attache. Actually, here's what we're going to do. We're going to send an attache to China. That should hopefully give us some more military experience. All right. Australia seeks distance from the Commonwealth. In a speech this morning, Prime Minister John Curtin announced the Austri Australian government's decision to growth and stability as an oceanic state. This means looking to new shores and those of Britain's Europe as the Australian people can no longer bear the weight of foreign conflicts on their shoulders. In direct reference to the King's speech at the open of the last parliament, John Curtin hit the point home by stating, Never another Gallipoli. The rapturous cheers from the crowd indicate a new era of Australian politics has begun. Where it will end, the world can only begin to speculate. So there goes Australia. They're starting to work towards independence. And the state of Japan joins the Allies. Earlier today, the United Kingdom and state of Japan issued a joint statement that the latter has now been formally granted member status of the Allies. Whether this partnership will be used for offensive or defensive purposes remains to be seen, but undoubtedly extensive joint military planning is already underway. 
All right, so the alliance between the Japanese and the British has re has been reforged. All right, German war economy integrate. This is mutually exclusive. Uh, faction. I can't make a faction, so we're just gonna go German war economy. We're just gonna reduce conversion costs, reduce military factory construction speed, or increase construction speed, and give me a bunch of military factories. Yes, please, do it. And they will be going into my tanks. And other armored vehicles. Alright, we're getting there. Now, how are we dealing as far as aircraft goes? Alright, we filled all of our orders for fighters and close air support, naval bombers. Just tactical bombers are the ones that are behind considerably. So if you look at our Air Force... Only have two transports. Yep, TAC bombers. But everything else is full. Alright. Well, we're at the end of the episode. Oh, Nationalist Spain took eight states. Republican Spain was annexed. Oh. That puts us at 20%. Well, we'll have to think about potentially sending some volunteers somewhere. All right, we're going to end the episode here for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.